traders, Sam Shakespeare coming to you live. Welcome to video one in the four part introduction to Fibonacci grid trading video series. In this first video, I wanted to introduce you to what a dynamic Fibonacci grid actually is. Uh, basically, when you are looking at a dynamic Fibonacci grid, you will notice there are four time lanes, each with the heading one minute, five minute, 15 and 60 minutes. So when you're looking at the one minute time lane, you're looking at all of the relevant support and resistance levels from the one minute chart. And on the five minute, you're looking at all the relevant support and resistance levels from the five minute chart. All these levels are calculated using dynamic Fibonacci principle, a method that has been used in the international banking system and provide reliable price action bounce points. Now the advantage of seeing them all laid out in one grid is you get to see where all the potential bounce points is on multiple time frames and when they line up we call that a level. When you get multiple time frames of support and resistance levels across the same price point, for example this 10-11 point is what we call a four column roadblock or a four column level. Right now you see the price is coming down to a three column level and already it's the first point where a bullish candle was able to form. So it went straight, the price basically came straight down until there was a multi time frame level and this is our first point at which we're seeing hesitation in price action. If I go out, but you see that how the time frames line up here. Now if I go to the five minute chart, you will see you have to go to the five minute lane and you will see that those line up with the five minute levels right here and then also the lines as well. So the green line is the L1, uh, the orange line is the L7, all right? And if I go out even further, and there's the 60 minute, there's the white zone here, boom, and the bottom of the white zone here, and then the next level down here, and then also the L2, which is the burgundy line, the L1, which is the green line, okay? The L7 up here, the orange line, that's the big L7, is actually displayed in black. All right, so it's keeping track of everything for you. Let's move back to the one minute. You also notice a one and a two on each time frame. Now, oddly enough, we call these boxes. I know you're saying, well, that's strange. They're round circles, and yes, they are, but there can be round boxes. <laughs> um, but seriously, it's displayed as circles, but they are called boxes. Uh, and the boxes are the L1s and L2s. So the L1 is the green line. That's the trail of the green box or the L1 box. And then the burgundy is the two. All right, that's the trail of it. They're now, you can see about cross and they're lined up. And so the L1 and two are very important as you'll see going forward. Um, and each time frame has an L1 and two and an L7 and also all the numbers in between. So everywhere there's a line or a band shade on each time frame, you'll see a dynamic Fibonacci level. These band shades all provide very good bounce points and a level of reliability. Now, as you can see already, the white zone provides a good level of bounce. This is just a live chart. I'm not you know, going back and trying to find examples that work. These levels are very good predictors of where price will bounce. And this is just on one time frame, a one minute time frame. But you can see just by looking at the general price action, how First of all, the band shades act as good support and resistance. And then if it breaks through, look, it broke a band shade, came back, tested a band shade, and this next band shade provided the next level of resistance. And look, could not break above the next band shade. So you can see that just on one time frame, they act as very good support and resistance levels. When you line these up across multiple time frames at the same price, you can understand how you would have a very strong level not just the band shades, but even the lines. Look at the orange L7 within the band shade here, how it provides a good level of resistance here. Once it breaks through, it bounces off this orange line and breaks through. And then even the L1 provides a good level of support for shorter term moves. Uh, and you will see how that comes into play. And you can see how the L1 and L2 are just holding the price here and between the band shade. When it does finally break the L1 too, you see it bounces nicely off the L3, which is the pink line, which is also another very important, but still struggling to get across that band shade. You can see why the band shades serve as our targets and the lines will serve as our entry points for most trend type trades. And you'll see what I mean as we get further on uh, into the course. That is just a very brief introduction of what the grids are showing you. 
Thanks for watching. This is Sam Shakespeare uh, signing out.